So I have a question. Why would anyone do this? Is that black paint I see on my 78 Trans Am? Well, don't get too excited. It's just a guide coat. <laughs> For those of you unfamiliar with bodywork, a guide coat basically allows you to see the highs and the lows when you're blocking and sanding the car. But we'll get into that, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Remember last time we saw this car, one side had been finished. And when I say finished, I mean it was in primer, all the bodywork had been done, but the other side was still in an awful state. So here we can see the driver's side that has finally been done. All the bodywork's been done, the filler's been put in where it needs to be put in. They closed and welded up that hole that was there for a strange security key in the door. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. Next, the car gets primer on the driver's side. So it's all primered up, it seals it up and it dries. Once it's dried, they are ready for the first blocking and sanding. And that's just when, this is the labor intensive part. The worst part really is where you just have to keep sanding and checking the levels, making sure everything's smooth, getting rid of the high spots, the low spots, that kind of thing. So here's what it looks like after the first blocking and sanding. This really gives me a lot of peace of mind because I can see that they've gone down to the metal, they've addressed any potential problems that are still lying underneath, you know, fixed everything up nicely. And it's just good to finally see the car more or less getting back together. They will be disassembling it, by the way, uh, in order to paint it, because they'll be taking the fenders off and stuff to paint it properly. But this is looking really good so far, and I'm quite pleased with the outcome. After the entire car was blocked and sanded, it of course got a second layer of primer all around. So now the left side's caught up with the right side, they're all kind of in the same shape. And then we get to the guide coat, which you saw in the beginning of this video. So it gets sprayed down with the guide coat and then it goes for its second round of blocking and sanding. Here we see the car after its second session of blocking and sanding. So it's pretty much ready to be disassembled and painted. And as far as I know, the painting will even start this week. So we might start to see some actual real paint going onto this car. It's a miracle. It's been since forever. I just can't believe that we've got to a point now where we might actually start to see paint on the thing. So next time you see an update about this car, you're going to see some paint. I can guarantee you that. And I will not be doing any updates until we actually get some paint on this thing. I hope you're as excited as I am about this because this has been a long, long process and I'm not a very patient man, but this has taught me to be very, very patient. Anyway, guys, we're planning on doing another Cars of Playboy episode for the next episode here on Worthless Whips. So I hope for those of you who've been asking about it will be happy and looking forward to it because we're actually missing doing those and we can't wait to do another one. More cars and uh, mechanical shenanigans coming up for you soon. So until then, you know the drill, guys. Keep it between the ditches. Don't roll over three times, flip over the median in the middle of the highway, end up on the roof of your car, get out and uh, push your car back on your wheels and try to drive through a hedge because I've actually done that. Anyway, until next time, you know the drill. Stay awesome.